Hello, I'm Louise Blasius, Director of Human Services for McKenzie Health System, and I'm pleased to say Happy National Healthcare Day of Decision, and that's April 16th every year, the day after taxes. And National Healthcare Day of Decision is about designating who you want to be your durable power of attorney to make healthcare choices for you should you not be able to make them yourself. So it should be somebody you trust. Often it's spouse for spouse or parent with adult child, but anyone 18 years and older um, sh should have a power of attorney for health care in place because we never know when we're going to get in a car wreck. 97% of Americans in a recent survey said they think it's important to have these matters in writing. 37% have done it. And all hospitals participating in Medicare have information available. And new to Michigan is the Peace of Mind website um, sponsored by the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. It's a registry for everyone's advanced directive. You can go to that web page. You can learn more information. You can download a power of attorney form. And you can upload your power of attorney form um, to the registry. Um, this is the one that we use at McKenzie Health System. It's approved by the Michigan Hospital Association, the Michigan State Medical Society, the Michigan Osteopathic Society, and the State Bar of Michigan. And it's very simple to fill out and it is a completely legal material. And you name who you would like to make your decisions for you if you couldn't make your own. And you can have a backup person in case um, your loved one is out of the country or is not available. And then you have a section where you can put care you do want or care you don't want. And sometimes I think it's hard to predict that, um, except if you have some um, religious beliefs that you know you would never want that to happen. The most important thing is signing by your choice. Choice one says, Anytime the burden of treatment outweighs the expected benefits, you can let me go. Choice two is a little bit more conservative and says only let me go if I'm in a coma or vegetative state. And choice three says, hey guys, no matter what, do all you can to keep me going. So think about your philosophy, um, choose your um, philosophy and sign your name by it. And then you can also um, add sections if you want mental health treatment, if you want to um, donate organs, you can fill that out too. Um, this only takes effect when you cannot make your own medical decisions and two doctors certify that you can. You also have the right to change your um, mind. You can change who you want to be your designee. You can change um, how much care you do want or you don't want, but it's very helpful to have it in place. Thank you.